the last action of the short story, the lumber room. Now we already know Nicholas successfully completes his mission into the lumber room and finally when aunt uh, calls him uh, he comes out of it keeping everything back in the way they were okay now let's read uh, the last part please take your text into your hand Right. You can share the screen. Okay. Page number 35. This part. Now at the end of uh, Nicholas expedition or mission into the lumber room. Presently, uh, the angry repetitions, repetition means repeating, of Nicholas' name, repeating Nicholas' name. Now, auntie is in the gooseberry garden. She thinks Nicholas is also in the gooseberry garden. Now, we already know that these elders, they come to false judgment. Their opinions are not always correct. Nicholas proved it early morning by putting a frog into bread and milk. Elders are not always correct in what they believe. Here, it is the same. Aunt believes Nicholas is in the gooseberry garden, but really Nicholas is not there. Nicholas is in the lumber room. Therefore, she calls Nicholas' name. Nicholas, Nicholas, hmm? where are you? I can see you all the time. Presently, the angry repetitions, angry repeating, Re-speaking of Nicholas' name gave way, uh, changed, changed into a shriek, a painful voice. Shriek means some painful voice and a cry, <clears throat> call for, cry means a call for somebody to come quickly. Now, aunt. In a painful tone, this time, not angry, this time in a painful tone, she calls someone for help. Come quickly and help. She's in a trouble. Suddenly she herself puts into a trouble. Nicholas shut the book, the bird's book, you may remember, the square, large square book with black covers. That is the last object he meets in the lumber room. He closes the book, restore it carefully, put it carefully on the same place uh, to its place in a corner and shook some dust, put some dust all over the book. Dust. Why? He put some dust on the black covers of the book to hide his finger marks. You see how tactful Nicholas is. This is Nicholas' smart quality. He hides all of his finger marks because according to Aunt, he is a criminal. 
Mm, he's a thief. Uh, therefore, to hide his mission or crime or presence in the lumber room, he put some dust to cover up, hide his finger marks on the book. Uh, from a neighboring pile of newspapers, uh, neighboring file of newspapers, he takes some dust from that newspaper file and sprinkles it over it. Then he crept from, came out secretly from the room, locked the door, he locked the door, replaced the key, put the key, Exactly where he had found it. Exactly where he had found it. You see, Nicholas does not leave any room, any evidence hmm, of his mission. He is quite careful. He is quite careful. He does not send any evidence. His aunt was still calling his name. Now, auntie is still calling his name. When he sauntered, ran, sauntered simply means ran into the front garden. Now, before the gooseberry garden, there is a small garden, front garden. Ah. Now, Nicholas' lumber room expedition is over. Now, he is outside the lumber rooms. Now, he runs to the front garden to see what has happened to the aunt. Because auntie is calling his name. Now Nicholas is standing before the gates again. Hmm? Gates of the gooseberry garden. He does not go in there. Right? Ah. From outside the gooseberry garden, he speaks. Who's calling? Ah, who is calling my name? Nicholas asked. The nun says, me. It's me. It's me, Nicholas. Came the answer from the other side of the wall. Ah, other side of the wall, it means the gooseberry garden. Didn't you hear me? Didn't you hear me? Hmm? I have been looking for you in the gooseberry garden and I have slipped into the rainwater tank. Hmm. Now you see, aunt has had a trouble. She is in the trouble now. What is it? When she goes looking for Nicholas in the gooseberry garden, she accidentally falls into a tank. Empty tank, rain water tank. There is no water, luckily. But she falls into it. Ah. Now Nicholas is very happy to hear this news. Why? He never likes aunt. But he likes aunt's accident. What is the accident? Falling into a rain water tank. Hmm? Why does Nicholas not go there? To punish Nicholas. To punish Nicholas. Nicholas is not But now what happens ironically? She punishes herself. She is punished. What a happy news for Nicholas. Hmm. A great news for Nicholas. I have slipped into the rainwater tank. Luckily, there's no water in it. But the sides are slippery. Side means walls of the tank are slippery. I cannot come out. Fetch the ladder. Mm, bring the ladder from under the cherry tree. Ah, under the cherry tree, there is the ladder. Bring it, Nicholas. Take me out. Ah. Now, Aunt says, 
she is in the rainwater tank because of Nicholas. Therefore, Nicholas must help her now. Oh, in the man, may thank you at the lini. Inimagella bear again, ma. But do you think, would you think that Nicholas may help? Nicholas is very tactful. He says, I was told I wasn't to go into the gooseberry garden. Hmm. Aunt told me not to go. Not to go into the gooseberry garden. Aunt told me. Therefore, I cannot come. I cannot help you. Now, Aunt, she changes the law. Prohibition. This time, for her own benefit, chance. She is very opportunistic woman. When she is in trouble, hmm? when she is in trouble, when things are very disadvantageous to her, she changes her laws. Now she changes. I told you not to. Yes, I told you not to. Now I tell you may, that you may. Now you can come. Yes, I told you not. But now you can come now. Came the voice from the rainwater tank rather impatiently, painfully. Now she wants to come out because the inside of the rainwater tank is not comfy, comfortable, very painful. There are small creatures. Huh? Sometimes mosquitoes in Sri Lanka. You can find a lot of mosquitoes. If you happen to fall into empty tank, there could be a lot of mosquitoes. But in England, you rarely find mosquitoes. Hmm. But Nicholas, Nicholas is not ready to help her. Now Nicholas says, I cannot come into Gooseberry Garden. Aunt told me not to. Now Aunt gives the permission. But Nicholas does not care it. He says, underline, this part is very important. Right? Underline it. Nicholas says, your voice doesn't sound like aunt's. Your voice doesn't sound like aunt's. Hey, hey woman, your voice is not like the voice of my aunt. You see, this boy, Nicholas pretends that he does not know this woman. He knows that is his aunt, but he doesn't want to help. Now he wants to punish him. Her. Now he wants to punish her. You may be the evil one. We shall go to page 36. You may be the evil one. You may be the evil woman. Tempting me to be, making me making me to be disobedient. You are the evil woman. You see Nicholas' criticism. You are the evil woman, bad woman, who makes me a disobedient child, who makes me a bad child. Because your voice is not the sweet voice of my aunt. Your voice is very bad. Your voice is the voice of the evil one, bad one. Napuri. Napuri ke kata hana mata hende. Nenda ke nebe. Aunt often tells me, because my aunt often tells me, this evil one tempts me, makes me bad boy. Hmm? And I always yield. I always yield. Yield means agree. 
or listen. This time, now, this moment, I am not going to yield. This time I do not listen to you. Now you can see Nicholas is very critical, even sarcastic, even ruthless here, revengeful. Now Nicholas criticizes aunt. He criticizes that aunt is the evil woman, bad woman who makes me a bad, him a bad boy. Hmm. She is the woman, she is the woman who makes him a disobedient, disgraceful boy. Therefore, he says, he will not help a bad woman. Now, auntie is in trouble. Nicholas is the only help she has. Now she understands Nicholas is going to hmm, go away without helping her. Now she, in a timid tone, she says, don't talk nonsense, Nicholas. Uh, now everything Nicholas speaks is a nonsense to these people. Even the frog incident, it was a nonsense. Now this Nicholas criticism, it is also nonsense. Hmm? Vicar, don't speak nonsense, Nicholas. Said the prisoner in the tank. Who is this prisoner? The aunt. The prisoner means here the aunt. Go and fetch the ladder. Ah. Go and bring the ladder. She still orders. But Nicholas does not listen to these orders. Instead, he has a question. What is the question? Will there be strawberry jam 40? Ah. Now Nicholas is going to test. Test the voice, the speaker in the rainwater tank, by asking this question, the strawberry jam question. Ah. Now, what is the history of this question? History of this question. A few days ago, or day ago, Nicholas and other children wanted the strawberry jam. They asked for it. But the aunt said, no jam. The aunt said, no jam. Right? Then, Nicholas secretly looked into the cupboard. And there are four bottles, four jars. In Sri Lanka, it's bottle. In England, jar. There were four jars of strawberry jam hidden in the cupboard. Nicholas knows that and told a lie. And told a lie hmm, to the children. Now Nicholas wants to see if the aunt is truthful or not. Truthful or not. If the aunt is honest or dishonest to children. Now Nicholas knows there are four jars of jam in the cupboard. Now Nicholas asked this question to test the person in the rainwater tank is really his aunt or the evil one. 
if it is really his aunt, she does not know anything about jam. If it is the evil one, she knows about the jam. Now aunt has only two answers, yes or no. Whatever the answer is, punishment will come upon her. Certainly there will be, uh, aunt says yes. Uh, yes, Nicholas. This is the answer Nicholas expected. The answer Nicholas expects. Huh? Yes, my dear. There is, said the aunt. But privately, silently resolve in thinking that Nicholas shouldn't have none of it. Huh? Thinking. She secret things. Yes, I have jam. But I don't give you. Now you see this woman's, this woman's evilness. She promises jam to have help, and secretly she promises to herself not to give any jam. Right? She is a woman who is not truthful. Honest in action. Nicholas knows this. Now Nicholas says, Now I know that you are the evil one. Now I know. You are the evil woman. You are the evil woman. Because you know, there is jam. But my aunt does not know, there is jam. Shouted Nicholas gleefully, happily. Gleefully means happily. When we asked, underline. Now Nicholas uh, repeats the incident. It's a flashback incident. Not it down flashback. Technique is flashback. Now he reminds the previous day's incident about the strawberry jam. When we asked Aunt for strawberry jam yesterday, she said there wasn't any. Uh, yesterday we wanted strawberry jam, but Aunt said no. I know there are four jars of it. Jars, bottle. In Sri Lankan sense, it is bottle. Four jars. For oh, strawberry uh, cans, just in other words, cans in the store cupboard. Because I looked, and of course you know it's there. Even you know there is jam. I know there is jam, but my aunt does not know there is jam. But she doesn't know. Because she said there wasn't any. Therefore, the woman in the rainwater tank is not my aunt. You see how logical he is. He's quite logical. Hmm. You are not my aunt because my aunt has no knowledge about strawberry jam. You are really the evil one who knows everything like me. Hmm. Oh, devil. Oh, evil woman. You have sold yourself. You are caught red-handed. You betrayed yourself. Hmm. You betrayed yourself. Hmm. You told the truth. You told the truth. Now, Aunt has no option. She has nothing to say. Why? Now Nicholas has proven for the second time she is a hypocritical, dishonest, evil woman, especially to the children. 
She is not a loving guardian. Uh, caring guardian for the children. Now Nicholas is very happy after this incident because there was an unusual sense of luxury. Now Nicholas has unusual sense of luxury, delightful feelings as he's in the lumber room now. He's still delightful because of this uh, punishment on the aunt. In being able to talk to a woman or aunt as though like, as though means like simply means was one talking to the evil one. Like Nicholas speak, Nicholas speaks to evil person. But Nicholas knew with childish discernment, childish understanding, discernment means realization or understanding that such luxuries, such delightful feelings, luxuries means a delightful feelings, were not to be overindulged, not to be overenjoyed. Or enjoy it. There must be some limitation, moderation. Therefore, he walked away. Nicholas went away noisily. Now Nicholas goes away without helping the aunt. Nicholas is not going to save this woman. Finally, the kitchen maid. It was the kitchen maid, kitchen servant, who in search of parsley, parsley means some curry leaves, uh, leaves for cooking, herbal leaves. Now the kitchen maid comes into the gooseberry garden to collect some parsley and she hears aunt's voice who eventually rescued. This kitchen maid saves, rescued means saved, the aunt from the rainwater tank. Aunt from the rainwater tank. Now, the conflict between Nicholas and the aunt comes to end in this way. Now, Nicholas is completely a winner. The aunt is completely a loser. She loses everything. Nicholas wins everything. Nicholas is the hero. Aunt is the loser. Now last part, resolution. Now, this is the end. This is how the writer ends the short story. Now let's read that part too. T that evening. That evening day, the same day, remember all these things happen in the same day, within a day. Hmm. The place and time of the plot is one day, partaken, attended, partaken means attended by everyone. In a fearsome silence, there is very dangerous silence in and around the tea table. Now everyone is there. Nicholas, Nicholas' brother, Bobby, girl cousin, and the aunt. Even the other aunts. There is another aunt here. She is also there. Ah. Now everybody is seated around the tea table for tea. But there is no strawberry jam. Now, this is some flashback about the Jagboro picnic party. What happens to them? Flashback memory technique. The tide had been water level. Tide means water level of the high tide and low tides. The Kaktino high tide, low tide. At its highest, uh, water level of the beach 
uh, had been highest height when the children had arrived at the Jackborough Cove. Uh, when the children reached the Jackborough Beach, the beach is completely underwater. There is no sand to play. Now that picnic is failure. It's a failure. Not a delightful event at aunt's expectation. So there had been no sands, no beach to play on a circumstance, on a situation that the aunt had overlooked uh, in the haste of organizing the punitive expedition. The aunt had overlooked, overlooked means neglected, disregarded the important matters in the haste, quickness of organizing this punitive, punishing, punitive means punishing expedition journey. Now writer criticizes this trip or picnic fails because aunt arranges it quickly without considering important matters. Right, it's okay. We all accept it. This Jagborough picnic is really arranged to punish Nicholas uh, not for the other children to enjoy but unfortunately Ironically, this Jagborough picnic becomes a punishment to those children. Right. Now they are very angry who the children who went on this picnic. They are also at the tea table in an angry in angry moods. The tightness of Bobby's boots, ah, Bobby's tight boots, tight shoes we know, had had disastrous effect, ah, dangerous results. Disastrous effect means dangerous results on his temper, his mood. He's very angry because the tight boots have completely injured his feet. Therefore, he suffers from a great pain the whole afternoon. And altogether, children could not have been said to have been enjoyed themselves. Now, what is the final result? These children have not enjoyed the picnic. They have suffered much from it suffered much from it. The aunt, even the aunt Moody is not happy. She is also in an angry mood, a ah, shameful mood, because she has been a failure, loser in her conflict with Nicholas. She had a frozen muteness, silent, Deep silence, mm. frozen muteness means she has a deep silence. She does not speak a single word. Like one who has suffered undignified, uh, disrespectful, unmerited, useless detention, waiting Detention means waiting in a rainwater tank for 35 minutes. Ah, how much time this woman has been in the rainwater tank? 35 minutes, a long time. She could have been a dead woman unless the kitchen maid had found her. Therefore, 
Aunt is also in a silent, angry, shameful mood, like one, like one who suffers in a rainwater tank for 35 minutes. But for Nicholas, what is Nicholas' mood? He too was silent. Nicholas is also silent. He does not speak. In the absorption, absorption means thinking, thoughts, in the thoughts of one like one who has much to think about. Now, Nicholas is like a great thinker. He is thinking. What is he thinking of? He is thinking of the lumber room. It was just possible. He considered, he thought, that the huntsman would escape. Now, Nicholas is still thinking of the huntsman in the tapestry picture. Hmm. He enjoys the delight of the lumber room in his mind. The delightful pictures are still on his mind. He is enjoying them. What is on his mind of this about this lumber room? With his hounds, hunting dogs, while the wolf feasted on the stricken stag. Finally, Nicholas thinks the wolf will eat the fallen stag. The wolf will not kill the hunter and the dogs. That is what he thinks now, because he feels sorry for the hunter and the dogs. He is also at the tea table with these thoughts. Now you can see, Nicholas is the happiest person here, because he wins everything from the morning to the evening. From the morning to the evening. He wins in his clash or conflict fight with the aunt. He is the hero. Because he is the hero of the day. Man of the day. All other people are losers. They are defeated. They are defeated. Therefore, only Nicholas is in happy mood about his successful day. Now in this way, Saki depicts how young children, how young, how young children are far away, one step ahead of the elders. One step ahead of the elders. Elders think that they know everything but the story proves they do not know everything. Only children know everything. Right? But elders do not accept it. Now this is the clash between the two generations. Old people and young people. Even today that clash is there. Even future that clash will be there. Even in the past, that clash was there. Right. Now, that is what we have to uh, understand, infer from this uh, story.